visibility into the tax amount associated with trading and acquiring items and accounting for this amount helps in calculating the true total cost associated with the purchase of goods. In this tutorial, we will see how to apply the tax on landed cost lines during a three-way voucher match process. As an accounts payable personnel, when you create vouchers during the voucher match process, you can account for the tax amount associated with the landed cost of an item. You can also reverse a voucher along with the landed cost and its associated tax. The procurement management system also enables you to apply tax on landed cost through logged vouchers and through the EDI process. The new tax rate area and landed cost rules are being added for the purpose of this tutorial. However, you can utilize the existing setup to leverage this feature. First, start by defining two tax rate areas using the tax rate area revision form. Note that in this example, we will be applying tax explanation code type S for the landed cost. Access the tax rate area revisions form and set up one tax rate of 7%. Similarly, set up another tax rate of 5%. Set the supplier tax information in the supplier master revision form. In the tax information tab, specify the tax explanation code and the tax rate area. Now on the landed cost revision form, create a new landed cost rule with two cost rules as shown here. After completing the setup, access the order entry program. P4310 and create a purchase order for an item with the landed cost rule that you defined in the previous step. Then access the purchase order receipts program, select the purchase order line with the landed cost applied and receive it. To perform voucher match, access the match voucher to open receipt program, click add and populate the order details in the voucher match application. In the Select Receipts to Match program, select the main order line along with the two landed cost lines as shown in the screen to match the voucher. The system populates the selected records in the voucher match application. By default, the tax YN field is set to N for the landed cost lines. Set the tax YN field to Y for the landed cost lines and tab out. In this feature, the tax related fields that is tax YN, tax explanation code, tax rate area and tax are enabled for the landed cost lines. The system defaults the tax explanation code and the tax area to the data retrieved from the supplier master table for the supplier associated with the landed cost. Therefore, in the second line, the tax field defaults to 7% for tax area RA. You can also override the tax information if required. Say the tax area is changed to GST5 in the third line, then notice that the tax rate defaults to 5% in the same line. Then the tax amount is calculated for each of the taxable amounts in the first and second landed cost lines based on the tax rates 7% and 5% respectively. Verify the tax amounts and submit the voucher match form to create the voucher. Verify the created voucher in the supplier ledger and inquiry program. The system updates the PO receiver file, account ledger and accounts payable ledger with the landed cost tax amount during voucher match processing. For the tax explanation code type S, the tax amount is logged as the variance amount in the PO receiver file table. Then just like any voucher, the next step is to post the voucher batch. After you post the batch, the system updates the taxes table with the tax amount that is determined based on the update tax file processing option for the general ledger post report program. To learn more about applying tax on landed cost lines, refer to the JD Edwards Procurement Management Implementation Guide or visit us at learnjde.com. Thanks for watching. Thank you.